Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And here I am back with another editing tutorial. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, in this video, we are going to edit this image and the final image will look something like this. Okay, so now let's launch Photoshop and yes, for this editing tutorial, we are going to use the Photoshop. So let's open up the image. Okay, so for this video, we are going to edit this image. So I'm pressing Ctrl plus zero for full view and F for the full screen view. Now Ctrl plus J for our duplicate layer and Control shift a to open that layer in raw editor though it's not a raw file but still it's easy to use the raw editor so let's get started with the basics okay so now let's adjust some basics now let's make it a bit cool not that much yeah, around plus four plus five will be okay and let's make it a bit greenish yep yeah minus 14 will be okay now for our look we need a really underexposed image so kind of like this yeah now I'm going to increase the contrast around here yep. now I'm going to decrease the highlights for the sky so it will be around like minus yeah minus 30 40 yeah it's looking pretty good right around here yeah minus 33 will be enough and we are going to recover the shadows from this shadow part so let's pull the shadows yeah increase it all the way now let's play with white a little bit not too much yeah around here will be okay and with blacks yeah we also need to increase blacks okay. now we don't need clarity right now so let's make it yeah minus 20 21 okay let's make minus 20 and yeah and we are done with the basics it's now looking something like that yeah as you can see we are going towards our goal like what kind of result we want okay so now we are going to edit the tone card don't worry it's quite simple thing so let's get started first of all we have rgb tone card and then red green blue okay so let's start from the rgb overall so we need some fade effect right around here so kind of like this yeah it's looking good now as we want a contrast image but not that much contrast so we can't create a s curve but the curve is going to look something like a s but it's much flat so let's work on the curve yeah now it's looking good now let's edit the red curve Okay, so now we are pretty much done with the red curve. Now let's fix the green curve. Okay, so now we are done with the green curve and now as you can see there is lots of blue in the image because we have not touched the blue curve yet. 
So now let's work with blue. Okay, so now we are done with the RGB card and now let's see what it looks like. So here is the before and here is the after and we are not done yet. So and now we are going to work with HSL, hue, saturation and luminance. So first of all, let's play with hue and make it a single view. Okay, so now we are going to play with the hue and Okay, hue is kind of your own preferences like the colors you want and the look you want out of your image so for me it's like a dark moody kind of result and I'm kind of selecting colors that suits the look around here it's looking good okay so now green so we don't have that much green right in the image so yeah aqua is pretty important right here because we have aqua in the image and the blue as well so we are not going to touch the blue and purples yeah i think it will look good around here and also the magenta is somewhere like here yeah. and we are going for a desaturated look so in this saturation tab i'm kind of desaturate all the colors in the image so now let's do that okay now as you can see i have kind of desaturated all the colors and yeah we are going for a look something looks like this so now let's play with luminance now luminance is the brightness of the color so luminance control the brightness of the color not the image of the color so we are going for a look which is kind of desaturated so i think it will look good yep around here no, we are not going to touch the orange. Yeah, yellow up pretty much. Not that much. Yeah, it's kinda okay. We are going to leave the yellow. The green is in the water, as you can see, a green tint in the water surface, and the same with the aqua as well. So we are going to increase it a little bit see okay so we are going to increase it a little bit not that much yeah it's looking pretty good around here i guess yeah yeah it's looking yeah it's looking good now let's decrease the blue as well as the purple now let's give it a final touch which is camera calibration okay now fix the red primary and we can decrease the aqua a little bit okay Okay, so now we are done with the editing and now let's see the before and after okay we can do one thing we just can make our radial filter something like this and we can push the shadow a little bit i hope it will look good okay so now we are finally done with the editing and now let's see the before and after okay so here is the before and after i hope you guys will like it let me know in the comment section below and if you want the preset also let me know in the comment section below i will make them available for you as soon as possible so 
this is all for today's video see you guys in the next one and if you guys have any question or suggestion please let me know in the comment section below and also you guys can follow me up on instagram to watch more of my travel contents and i am most active there so see you guys in the next one till then tada stay home stay safe